Hello everybody. Um, I hope you are all staying safe during this coronavirus crisis and healthy as well. And today I'm going to review for you this. This is the Bug Photo Edge Tool by The Small Shop. I, pur I purchased it off of ScaleHobbyist.com. Costed me about $35. And this is a handy dandy little photo etch tool. Um, you will actually be seeing me use it for the first time today as I have a part that I'm going to demonstrate for you. Or I'm going to demonstrate how this works for you by bending one of my photo etch parts. Um, I'm currently in the process of assembling a 1350 scale Minicraft Titanic. And here is my incomplete boat deck. I just finished the rigging on the funnels last night and doing the vent caps on the top. So let's dive into some of the features of this tool. So this tool has many different little fingers that stick out for uh, clamping the parts down so you can use the correct size finger for the part. Um, and then it also has a straight edge on this side. So the way this tool works is you unscrew it from the top here. And it lifts up. And then it can rotate. So you can pick which side you need. And then once you have your side selected, you can slide it underneath and clamp it back down. And then it will hold your part in place while you use the included razor blade to slide it up underneath the part and bend it as you need to bend it. So I think this is a very handy dandy little tool. And hopefully I can get my phone at a better angle so you can actually see my work. Okay, so the part that I've decided to demonstrate is this right here. This is the uh, 1350 Titanic detail set by Tom's Model Works. And the part that I'm doing will be the compass tower legs. I figured that would be a fun one to do. So we're going to go ahead and clip it out of the frame. This tool is supposed to work not just for larger bits of photo etch, but smaller ones as well. And it's designed for it to work with multiple scales. So I think that adds a lot to the versatility of it.
There it goes. Okay. Let's try and adjust the phone so we can get a better camera angle. Just a moment, please. Let's see if this will hold it. There we go. Okay. So it's not the greatest angle, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So here's the compass tower legs. All painted, ready to go. Just have a little bit of... Oh, that's not good. I have to say one of the nice things to read in the instructions for these is that brass can always be bent back into shape because it's forgiving. <laughs> okay. So it's a little bit right there I gotta trim off. There we go. Okay. So here's the compass tower legs, all trimmed up and ready to go. So, I'm going to go ahead and select the large flat side. Bring it down a little bit so it doesn't rotate on me while I'm trying to align the part. Okay, there we go. We now have the part aligned and clamped. Hopefully you can see it a little. Should be able to see it from there. And I'll slide the razor blade up underneath it. Oh, hold on. It's not quite where I want it. There we go, that's a little better. Now slide the razor blade up underneath the part and just bend it. And voila! Now I just have two more folds to do, and I will have a complete set of compass tower legs ready to go. So I hope you all find this review helpful. If you are in the market for a photo etch tool, I definitely recommend this. It seems to be very easy to use. And it obviously produces great results. So stay safe, stay healthy, and have a good one.